All right, let me get you in my party on the Xbox. Razor emblem. Isn't it sexy? Not bad, not bad. I got my green screen going too. Ooh. Right? What's your gamer tag now? Sure, same as what it's always been. I'm on, I'm playing Black Ops right now. Shawnee Pones or? Uh, that's all. Are you appearing offline? I should not be. Huh? You are. Series? No, I'm online. Yeah, you're appearing offline on my end. Oh, I'm on. Am I joining the Xbox Live? Oh, I'll just jump out in game. I guess. Yeah, just unplug your mic, sir. How come I can't invite you to game? I'm already in, dumbass. You're in the same lobby I'm in? Yes, look, look, look. That's so weird. How does that happen? Because I was in your lobby, and if I'm in your lobby and the leader of the lobby accepts another invite, it drags me over with you. It's a nice little feature. Did you not know of this? Oh, those Treyarch guys think of everything. I'm gonna have to jump in here and talk to these guys real quick. Gotcha. Turbo, you ready? Yo, what's up, Turbo? Let's go. Hey guys, because sorry. Yes, power. Uh, yeah, what's your stream link? Uh, the Turbo Show. Twitch.tv slash the Turbo Show. Oh, you guys started it. I, I wasn't looking for you. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Do you want to end it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead and end it. End it. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, uh, just best of seven uh, game chat for Hardpoint and CTF. S and D, okay. use party chat, it's yeah. cool. Um, yeah. Give me, give me one second. Yep. Yeah, just go back on your team, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Such a troll, man. Don't get on, don't want to stop for nothing. Up 13. <laughs> we guys need us, we'd like to stop for you guys, dude. Stop. <laughs> How many viewers we got in there? Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Oh, that's not bad. I... That was as good as we got game. Guarantee <laughs> fucking ten of them are all of us. <laughs> no, we, we got a viewer. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Alright, boys. Alright, uh, start up whenever you guys are. Let's pass. Dee 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 dee. Yeah, yeah, Polo's going <laughs> other team. Uh, <laughs> all close. Yeah, yeah I'm muted. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, we are muted, boys. <laughs> I got sensitive ears. Are we good, Turbo? Shit. Ah, uh, good enough. Yeah, uh, he said we're good. I'm fucking starting it, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> wow, that was obnoxiously loud. Anyway, guys, what's going on? Turbo here, bringing back show matches. Joined by my very awesome English co-caster, Shawnee Pones. What's going on, bud? Hello, everybody, and how you doing, man? I'm doing fan crap fantastic right now, though. We do have Choke Point going up against <laughs> Extraction. <laughs> I totally forgot their name for a second. And uh, right now, the first hard point is in that middle area. First off, it is going to be in control of 
let's say, I don't know who's on who, Extraction maybe? No, Choke Point has a 3-4-1 uh, right now, getting complete control thus far. Switching over to the overhead map, they do seem to have complete control over it. As far as uh, Team Choke Point is not able to make their way in. Shawnee, what do you think of the game so far? This is our first time casting. It this is, game. and I mean, it's obviously due to our very annoying pain in the ass time zones. It hasn't allowed us to do so, but I mean, in regards to the game so far, you can see choke points are doing exactly what they what their name stands for, which is holding the points on the map. And they have lost control of the half point for now, but at this current time, they have that back spawn down by the next half point. They can just set right there. Absolutely on board here with I've got the swag. That's a good name right there for um, the choke point player. As Choke Point is leading right now, 15 to 12. Not many points given up in that first hard point, but they are slowly making their way back up to it right now. As uh, Swag has not even been contested just yet. Still in this back hard point in the soccer field. Looking at the scoreboard, though, by Boot sitting at 6 and 1 already, even though he is the only uh, a four bar on his team. Uh, I've got swag. That name is so hard to pronounce right off the bat, but he seems to have control. Right now, switching over to Shrieko, who is going to push into Broken. Try and push the spawns out with 25 seconds left in that hard point. Uh, they definitely need to start anchoring here, Shawnee, so that they get control of that next hard point as well as the spawns. With a lead of 50 to 15, I think it's safe to say that they, they can give that one up. They can give it up. I mean, they already, if you look at the overhead map, you can already see that they are already set up for the next one. As you see, uh, Possify actually pick up the kill on Boots right there. They have the nice little setup on the, uh, the next half point. And you can see, in fact, Azarium Z going in again, the two piece identified. right there. Very nicely hard done, a little going down to Swag. But it's up to this current item to see if her choke point can hold on to it. At the moment, they're doing so, but for how long? Oh, absolutely. We're going to see Shriekle there take out Altoon, uh, protecting the hard point. His team does have great positioning. Now, the next hard point is going to be in the mechanic shop, or also known as the garage. Having this back spawn completely controlled, as well as having the couch's hard point, is ideal and key into winning this map. That way, if you do uh, switch over and the, uh, the hard point does change, that way you do have the proper spawn. Now there's 30 seconds left here on the clock on board with Shriekle as he did just come up off the respawn, but he's going to get taken out by Possify right by the fountains. The hard point is going to go in control now of uh, Team uh, Extraction, uh, who is down about 30 points or so in this hard point on Slums. And you can see, in fact, that as you said, they were 30 points, but they managed to get a good 20 seconds or so on the hill, and they appear to have a two-on-one advantage at the next um, hard point right there in the garage Hardpoint as we identified. wait to see what extraction can do. They're currently at the hill, lost to choke points as we are Hardpoint trying to contested. see what Ult can do. He is trying to go in there and does pick up a nice two kills as he is getting jumped on the side and maybe he can get free. Yes, he can. Good stuff. And now extraction are pulling their way back into this now, AJ. Absolutely. We're going to see Altoon has uh, four kills right there. In that hard point, still protecting it, getting those score streaks up. He has a lightning strike and now a hailstorm in hand. He's making his way up to that uh, stealth chopper. I don't know if he's going to let him go yet, but we have not seen many uh, score streaks here, Shawnee. What's your take on score streaks? I actually have not had a chance to discuss uh, discuss it with you. Well, I mean, in regards to the actual score streaks themselves, you'll know that uh, now over in Europe, we've actually adopted the uh, the score streak in effect for our matches. And like I said, you know, some people have their opinions against them for it, and, and you know, in my opinion, it just adds to like seeing if one team can keep their advantage with score streaks and if they can use them well. But it's also seeing if they can, well, as I said, keep the score streaks going. So you can see right now it's Ult trying to Ooh. right now Ult for that MSMC has been absolutely on fire. He has all his kill streaks, including a stealth chopper, which for the next kill, which is in the fountain, it would be very, very useful to chuck one on right here. He picks up a triple kill with a lightning strike. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hold on one second. I actually turned off the wrong thing. I meant to turn that off. All right, so we're gonna see this altitude finally gets taken out. Sitting at 19 and nine, he is a uh, a prestige master, so he does know how to play those pubs really, really well. And uh, sticking on board with him as the the hard point is seems to be uh, back in control of Team Extraction as they are now leading 100 to 89. Let's switch over to someone from Hard Team uh, uh, Choke Point and see if they can make their way back here. Uh, there's about five minutes left here in the round. With that being said, I want to dip into a listening here, Shawnee, and see what their communication yep. is like in order to uh, come back as they are coming back right now. We'll be right back, guys. Mid, mid, mid. He's mid on the sandbags. Mid on the sandbags. Push left side with me. Hard point identified. I want to push left side with him. Push, push left side. Point. We've lost control. Just one blue, one blue, one blue, one blue. He's going down. Alright, good spot, good spot. Get that, get that, get that. 
Win that, win that, win that. We got bad spawns still, we got bad spawns. Oh, win mid, win mid, win mid! You gotta win that. He's sitting right beside the stairs. I had two, dude, there were two. Oh, they pushed, they pushed anchor, they pushed anchor. Should I, dude, do you need me to use my health or no? No, no. Nah, don't waste it on this one, don't waste it on this one. Awesome. Behind us, behind us, graveyard, graveyard, coming through blue, coming right through blue. Right side street, right side street, right side street, he's in the back Man, line. guys, we're giving up a we're lot. Yeah, we're giving he's up. Going, he's on the next anchor, he's on the next anchor. Get that guy on anchor, get him, get him, get him. Come on, we gotta win our gunfights. Yep, we're going, going in the front, we're going in the front. I keep spawning back here, man. One more, one more. Try to contest it, you'll spawn over here. Man, no I'm not, I'm fine, man. You're good, you're good, you're good. Somebody come over here and help me out anchor. Oh, shit. shit. Oh, alright, they only got me. They're, they're pushing anchor. 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 Give me something anchor. anchor. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You why are you? I got bad, I got bad spawn. I'm also coming through front. All right, guys, we are back. You could definitely hear that communication right there. That was Team Choke Point. Uh, they did talk a lot, and you can uh, tell that it is uh, putting up to somewhat of their, uh, I, I would say, success. But right now, they are losing. They did come back, though, after being down uh, a few uh, a few points there in that last uh, hard point. Right now, on board with Bai Boots, who's trying to get control. Uh, take off whoever's back here anchoring for extraction, just so that his team can get back there, get the spawn. With 15 seconds left here in the couch hard point, Point. They need to get control of this uh, a garage area right now. And you can see also right now it's Alt again trying to hold his own with that MSMC. He has been pretty much on fire. He still has a stealth chopper to call in. And with the next half point actually being in the garage right now, I don't think he's going to be. You might want to check it out right now. I'm not sure what he's going to use it. He does pick up the kill on the headshot with the laser sight. Is he going to pick up a two piece? He does. He is looking on fire right now with this MSMC as we wait to see if he can try and go to make something happen. In fact, there's no one in there and his team are going to try and hold up. And they've turned this game around considering right at the start. They were really behind AJ. Yeah, they were, and we did see him get that first capture. He was the first one in the hard point, giving him 200 points. That did put him about three quarters of the way up on a hailstorm missile. We did see him just get taken out there, though in uh, in, in the garage area. He is trying to make his way back. He does uh, have control of it once again, and he is trying to uh, allow his team to get in there. He does have that stealth chopper, like you said, Johnny. Whether or not he's going to use it, I think he definitely needs to pull it out right now with the uh, with the next hard point being out in middle. I mean, exactly. With the fountain, it's just free gain and free kills for the helicopter. The helicopter have a fun time with that, and you'd have to assume now he's going to call it in. And there we go. He's going to bring up obviously the pad to bring it up. And in goes Stealth Chopper. And with his team already holding the hill, it's going to be a real, real pain in the butt for them to even try and regain the hill back. And I don't see it happening with a Stealth Chopper out at the moment. Well, absolutely. The score is going to be 210 to 148. Now in favor of Extraction as a tune is going to get a nice two-piece there. Adding a third one using his Stealth Chopper to take out by Boots. He is looking extremely strong for his team, sitting at 34 and 20 with eight caps, 13 defense, followed by Zerium, who does have more points than him, though, sitting at 34 and 20, and down goes his stealth chopper. Unfortunately, though, they only have about 20 seconds left. If they were to uh, stay in the hard point here for the rest of the duration and have complete control, that is going to be GG on this map of hard point slums. A strong team uh, is coming out of uh, extraction right here, especially in this hard point. And, uh, you know, choke point they didn't seem too too bad on themselves but looking at Shriko not to call anybody out sitting at 14 and 32 it could be the three bar I, I, I could say that but also uh, perhaps maybe it was uh, their lack of not lack of but maybe their adjustment on the next hard points or so maybe so I mean but to be fair like I said there was uh a nice setup, in my opinion, from the start by uh, Choke Point, but from there on, Extraction just seemed to find their game. Apparently, by the way, AJ, according to Anthony, I'm pretty quiet. Are you? I'm not quite sure what's. Yeah, apparently so. Boots. He is looking extremely strong for his team. Hmm. No, it's... That's strange. I don't know why. You should. I don't want to do an up, please. I don't talk for me, real quick. Another hard point. Hello, hello? Ah, you're sure up there. We're not doing SND. Why would we not do SND? I can yeah, hear no, me fine, apparently. You know, some people say they can't. Oh, I got a Skype message while saying they couldn't hear me probably. I don't know. Either way. It's not, uh, it's be, uh, get ready. I'm assuming we're going to search now, am I right? Or is this uh, capture the flight next? I'm just let. I don't know. I just let them pick it out. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Let me just lead the way. Check There's nothing there. 
Bone delay should be five, five seconds. There we go. Here, I'll just tell you. Changing the score up. It is a map count of Bone one to zero. Flag um, um, limit doesn't matter. Uh, that should be unlimited. The regular stuff. Seconds. Hold on. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try and take a gander on this. By the way, if you're from Zach, yeah, I'm pretty quiet. Are you? Oh, I don't know. You sound fine to me on the stream, actually. It's on right now. It's on. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys can hear Shawnee, let me know. If you can't, let me know too. Just let me know. You playing shoot up? Why is it a chain? Still says hard point. Are you sure you changed it, pal? Girls on America with a fucking puppet. Alrighty, guys. Welcome and uh, thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to tweet out the stream. Also, be sure to follow Shawnee on Twitter at Shawnee Pones. It's right up there on the top of your screen. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to just let us know how we're doing and like if you can't hear him or if you can hear me. I don't know. Holler at your boy. Um, how you been, Shawnee? What have you been up to? Well, um, well, I can't really be up to much, well, obviously it's the time zones right now, it's almost 1.30 in the morning here, I can't actually be up to much at the moment, but other than that, just a normal day, and a day really, I mean, obviously you've had work and so on and so forth, so, you know, it's just been a normal day, we come back and we're going to go and essentially kick ass on our first cast, the cent uh, that basically. Yeah. So, we, uh, Capture the Flag standoff ever, appears ever, to be the next yeah, map, and I enjoy this map for Capture the Flag. Uh, do you? I really do, uh, yeah, I really do like the little uh, areas you can go, whether that be the back alley or for the back house. Either way, um, you know, I do like the little setups on the map, so this should be very, very interesting, AJ. I'll let you guys, uh, I'll, I'll let you take it over, man, if you want to do that. Going to, what, go from the beginning? Yeah, why don't you just, uh... Okay. Do your little thing uh, here, and let me know who we're jumping on board with here. I will say, well, since we are looking at, obviously, because Extraction are it winning right now, we'd want to go on board, obviously, one of the seals. So, if we jump on board, maybe Shriek, and then see yep. what he can do. So, we can see, obviously, with a combat knife in effect, and lightweight and extreme condition, he's going to pick up first blood immediately with the MSMC on Zai, as he looks to, obviously, take his time. He is a little hurt. He doesn't want to rush, because he has the feeling that someone is around there. He is now going to make his way for the brown house in the middle. Going to come across Zai again. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a very uh, potent uh, figure right there. He tries to get a third one and Ooh. does. Shriek at the moment on fire with this MSMC with a free, pee, uh, excuse me, a free kills in a matter of minutes as the team flag. pick up the flag. And this is exactly what Chopo needed right here. They needed a fast start and they need to try and return this flag. Who has the flag right now? I believe it is. Oh, I believe it's just been. No, it hasn't been dropped. I apologize. No, Polo, Polo has the flag. Oh. Can he get away with me? He does! Somehow, Polo is hurt, but look at the, um, look at the other team just covering the house and they clear it out as they look to return and Possify with a three-piece will return the flag, and there we go, they'll try and run it now, AJ. Absolutely, I'm gonna switch on board with Polos once again, who was the flag carrier there. Uh, the other team that is Extraction, they do seem to have the flag well guarded, they all, all all are running together back to the base to get that cap, that is a 1-0 lead right now for Extraction over uh over choke point i'm sorry as uh these are new teams to me guys i do apologize switching over to shriek once again who was a heavy hitter like you said shawnee at the beginning of the map and now they seem to be pretty much even he was on a three bar so we can't call it there we're gonna see shriekle right now take out altoon from uh from extraction trying to gain control of the map let's see on the overhead view which side they're pushing they're pushing along on the crate side or the boxes side into the little store jumping back in the first person point of view he's going to run up on the top uh top store area and uh he's trying to spot anyone but he doesn't see him and they are uh, both sides right now i feel are playing very passive shawnee what did you need to do in this map in order to uh be successful at ctf Oh my goodness me, uh, ironically, um, as you were saying, I possibly actually got a kill and actually got saved by the person who had the flag. But to be successful, I mean, obviously with score streaks in effect right now, you need to maximize the usage of score streaks. But you also need to make sure you try not to die, obviously, because of the respawn delay. You need to be really like communicating with your team, so you have to make sure exactly where you're going. And just proven in the first flag capture that uh, Extraction did, Choke Point were doing so well, but Extraction managed to counter so, so well that they managed to get the flag and run it straight home to get the first flag. So, I mean, it can go anywhere right now. Absolutely. So, we're going to switch uh, back aboard with Polos. 1 0 lead right now for extraction over choke point. Uh, on board with Polos now, there is someone in that uh, top office building area. 
Polo's unable to get the kill off. I've got Dat Swag does happen to get a kill as well. Uh, let's see where the positioning of Team Extraction is. They're all pushed up already by the base, guarding them, and hopefully are, are going to try and take out the flag carrier here. Uh, jumping on board without... Uh, nope, let's, let's stick on board with one team throughout the whole thing. The flag carrier did uh, not get taken down just yet. Zerium, though, is going to take out Got Swag. Shriekle is the flag carrier. Let's... Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, AJ. No, um, Goat just took him out like there. Falsify, literally just taken out with a flag carrier, and now they're going to try and return it and do so. A double return by both teams. They both had opportunities, but both of the slayers, essentially, you could call them, were there to pick up the kills when needed, and the flags are returned back to base with a minute and a half to go. It is all up to choke point right now to try and see if they can try and get a flag back for the second round. Yeah, I feel like this map, you're right, is uh, is a good map for CTF. It is not one-sided. There really is, there seems to be only one route that uh, pretty much teams like to use, which is this route right here where we're watching Altoon pretty much get control of and gain control of. Let's jump on board with Shriekle from the Seals. Also, team, team at choke point as he does get taken out right there by I've Got Dat Swag. Switching over to Polos right now as the flag did get taken, but quickly dropped by uh, I've Got Dat Swag on Zerium, who seemed to be the flag carrier. Polos, he didn't spot Goad right there in front of him. I don't know what he was looking at, but uh, I have not seen a score streak from Choke Point. They definitely need to get that, uh, get those score streaks in, in play right here, and they also need to start getting some kills down. Uh, looking at it, uh, 10 and 6, 10 and 7. You know what? They are getting Shriek's kills on the run. Oh, oh, sorry. Shriek's on the run for Brown right here. And if he Go. can be protected, oh. he would actually... And look at this. Possibly. It's all on him to try and kill Shriek right here. And he's done enough to force him away in Brown. He's going to have to run around the back alley. Oh. Possibly needs to react to this as we see Swag get a two-piece also. But it's now up to Possibly to try and get... The flight carrier getting oh. it. It's going to be so close. Oh. It looks to me like Chopper going to get it with 17 flag. seconds remaining in the score. And that's tied to one. And that's a really big difference maker. That may be something that they need for momentum for exactly. the second round. You know what? You're absolutely right there, Shawnee. It might just be something they need for momentum. They are just coming off of a one map loss. Not that that takes anyone down, but who knows? Different players play differently. They, they were down. losing that down. round also down one flag cap, making their way back up, tying it tying it up at the half. Now they have a whole new, brand new game, in fact, coming back where they just need to play out this round like any other CTF and just get a flag cap and hold back team extraction. Exactly. I mean, the key point, part, look at the, Possify actually has a sentry gun ready. Now, it would be very interesting to see, oh, look, he has literally just placing the sentry gun right at the back, literally right at the back. It's going to be very hard to get wow. there. But obviously, remember, bullets can kill it, but that's the main thing right now, is Shriek gets first blood to start this round off with a bang, quite literally, as we see, uh, in fact, a one-for-one -one exchange by both teams. So we're going to see one of the uh, Chopo members try and sneak around in their house right now. I I think that Shriek, yes, yeah, Shriek is in them, the, the spawn building right now, the flag, but I don't think he realizes it's a sentry gun there. He's going to try and hold it, and we'll pick up the kill. Oh, yes. he, he actually has two kill streaks right now. He has the Hellstorm and Lightning Strike now. He's going to go for the flag. He's going to actually get taken out, though, by Towel. And we'll wait to see now what Extraction can do from this. Absolutely. I'm going to jump on board and stick on board with Team Extraction, see if they can make their way into it, as the flag was pulled, in fact, by Zerium. Let's jump on board with the flag carry here. He oh, does. Wow. Yeah, that is a smart play just to run into the gas station right there and avoid the hailstorm or the lightning strikes, whichever those were. We do see Pacify's uh, sentry gun take out. Uh, I've got that swag right there. And now the score is 2-0 to zero in favor of Team Extraction, making their way back up, Shawnee, right now. 2-0? Oh, well, they had a flag. Or 2-1, to one, I'm sorry. Two yes, to one. Uh, I was, was going to say. A little confused right there. Yeah, I mean, Zerium's intelligence to actually go as you said into the gas station during those two score streaks being placed was pretty damn ingenious because it's essentially saved them from dropping the flag and allowed them to run it home because the sentry gun is still at the back right now it looks to me like choke points are pretty much all over the place right now because only two of them alive now uh, one's dead that's another two and currently dead it's four on two and zerium's going for another run right here Absolutely. Let's jump on board with the flag carrier. Actually, let's stay on board with Pacify, who was able to take out Shriekle, who did try to go for the counter pull there. But uh, Pacify is going to get the return. He did get EMP, so I can't quite see his uh, score streaks or how many points he was at. But uh, the flag carrier did get taken out. That was Zerium, and now Towel is right near the flag. Is going to take out. I've got that swag right there. He gets dropped himself by Shriekle, who got the two piece. The flag is going to be returned. That was huge play right there. 
Wow, my goodness me, the two piece in fact leading to the return. And Ooh. if they were to bring this flag back, if choke point were to get a flag back and tie it up, Possify may be defanged because, excuse me, not Possify, I apologize. Shriek may be defanged just because of that uh, two piece in return. That was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome on board with Possify once again. Seems to be playing the D, gets a shake there on by Boots, controlling his house right now as Possify. I'm sorry, as uh, I've got that swag, is going to take the flag for a little run right there. Switching over to the flag carrier, uh, I think it is Zerium, who seems to be the primary OBJ right here by Tractors. He is going to have some support from his teammate, in fact, as uh, some. Someone else did get taken out by his flag base. Are we going to see? Oh my goodness me! So we can you can see on the overhead radar right now. There's one right by Swag, Ooh. and he needs to be very careful right now because it is the battle of flag carriers right here. Who can hold it and who can defend it? Swag holds his own. If he had died and lost the flag, that may have been game o game over at three one. But mm -hmm. he holds it, and now it's up to Zirium on the other team to hold it for his team. And I love it when st when both teams have flags because it's a matter of seeing which tactic can work the most. And if they kept their lightning strike, they may have been able to get him right here. Absolutely. So we're going to be on board here with Zerium, who does have flag in hand still. One minute and 28 seconds left on the clock. I want to see what the communication is going on or what it's like for Team Extraction. We'll be right back, guys. All right, now they're probably going to flank, to be honest. Pal's there. Pal's there. I just went oh, through gas. Oh, my God. He's on tank. He's on tank. He's bottom wood. Bottom wood. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Go I'm pushing this flag. I'm pushing this flag. It's one shot. That guy's one shot. Oh my god. He's not even almost complete. You. Don't quit now. Where is he going? I'm staying close. Middle. Yeah, middle, oh middle. God. You got that? I got middle. Aaron Avery. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Yeah, he's middle, dude. I'm 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 getting, I got me. I sneak in. I sneak in. I got the lead. We're watching, Our flag though. is back at base. I keep alternating. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Flag, the unbelievable, the AJ. Absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. We just got back from the listening. As um, we see, I think if you were spectating Bossify, I hope you was, <laughs> because he had actually snuck past two members of Choke Point to get the kill, to get the return, and that allowed them to bring the scores to 3 1, an unbeatable 3 1 now, and they will take a 2 0 lead in this best of seven series. And they play like, what a great match it was and capture the flag. Like pretty much all the way tight and close right to the very end until that final flag cap. Yeah, absolutely. They were able to uh, tie it up in the first round at the last second, or they being a choke point. It is going to be a 2-0 lead, though. So uh, right now we are going to see it as the map count is going to go up as well to a 2-0 lead for extraction over choke point. Choke point definitely needs to make their way up. This is a best of seven series, guys. So it's not over yet for either side. You. It's hard to call it, even just seeing Hardpoint and uh, uh, and uh, capture the flag, Johnny. I mean, exactly. That's a that's a great point because maybe choke points can find their rhythm in search and destroy, and if they can bring it back, then maybe they can start their momentum and bringing the game back from 2-0. I mean, that's the main thing right now. As we wait to go into search, that'll be the key thing for them to do right now. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I don't know what we're gonna what map we're gonna do. I just let them. I let them choose. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just like, go for it, guys. It's your Plaza. Thing. Yeah. Plaza? Really? That's your favorite S&D mm. No, no, no. I'm just repeating what they're saying. Oh. What they're choosing. Oh, okay. Cause I, <laughs> favorite I... S&D map. Well, um, actually, now you say I enjoyed Raid. I really do enjoy the simple nature of Raid. Left, middle, right. Just really simple, and I do enjoy the way Surge plays on Raid. Oh, we're going to Halfway again? Hmm. Uh, maybe we're not doing S&Ds tonight. I don't know why. Oh. No. Oh. I do love some good old-fashioned Surge, but maybe not. Like, uh, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, I guess not. I guess while we wait to start this game up, then uh, AJ, you want to go through uh, what you think of ha uh, excuse me, Plaza as a hard point map itself? Ooh, ah, uh, it's a blast. I like it. I actually think it's re it's actually really fun. I mean, um, it, uh, sorry, go on. Uh, it's just a lot of uh, a lot of high intensity play there, uh, but we're gonna be back here in a Capture hard point uh, plaza on board with Pazify. See if he can do some work. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, uh, high intensity moments here. Everything seems to be pretty even, and you do need to get those uh, proper anchors down. Uh, you do need to be selective on your score streaks though, because uh, not like there's really no there's only one hard point that's on the outside. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hard points on the inside, and you need to try and guess where the team are running to try and maximize the usage of the score streaks. And at this current time, 
We see Possify and his team off to a flying start right now on this map. I have them Plaza. They're holding the club's um, hand point so, so well. But this current time, the back spot for the next hand point is on choke point side, I believe. So if they can hold that, then they may be able to uh, get some points on the board right here. Absolutely. We're switching on board now with Zerium, who's going to be pushing for that next hard point as it is. Uh, 13 seconds left on the... You know what I'm just noticing? <laughs> this is funny as hell. I am just hey, noticing this. There is finally the hard point ca uh, counter in the podcasting yes, mode. Yes, in the top left corner. I just realized that also because. Oh my oh, god! I gotta. I, is, I have to me. tweet this out. Ah, oh, this is funny <laughs> as hell. Hard point counter is finally back, wow. and for people, I mean, wow. I've not cast. This is my first time casting. I've understood the the pain and misery people have had of trying to guess when the next hard point would go up. So now people on screen can actually see it, which is a uh, a success for everybody. But if we go back to the game right now, we can see choke point for 17 seconds on the hard point right now. But currently the hill is, uh, excuse me, keep calling it a hill just because it just reminds me mm -hmm. of it. But um, the current hard point at the moment is uh, just waiting to be captured by extraction. They do hold it. They reach the 50 second mark. They've got a while to go, but at the moment they're holding the second one. They have the majority lead and it's up to choke point to try and find a way to come back into this right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just noticed it. I'm still stunned by it, but it is a score right now of 61 to 17 in favor of Team Extraction. Let's switch over to Towel, who does have six streaks. Uh, sorry, six kills in a row. Looking at it, he does have a lightning strike in hand, but he's also, Shawnee, listen to this. His score streaks are uh, our lightning strike, followed by Stealth Chopper. Then followed by K9s. And it's just, I just realized <laughs> that, yeah. I mean, he's gonna have to have the lightning strike right now, but he needs to be careful because that yeah. lightning strike can go through the roof of the building. And if it can be used correctly, he tried going for the back spawn and picked up nobody, which is pretty rare to see as he goes in with a hit fire. Doesn't quite get anything as the kills are flying in left, right, and there right now. As we see, Polo is actually trying to hold his own in the harbor, but Pacify is there to clean up when needed. Absolutely on board now with Altoon, who does have control of the hard point in Debo. We're we're gonna see Shriekle take out Towel, followed by Alton taking out Shriekle, but Zerium is gonna be right there to get a two piece, following it up of a kill on Got Swag. Polos right now on board with uh, Alton again, I'm sorry, as they are just battling for this hard point. The score though is 92 to 20. It does seem like Cho Point is slowing down just a bit here. They need to pick their uh, pick it up a little bit. It's not down and out yet, but uh, we're about to reach the halfway mark. And we are, as you said, we just literally are reaching the halfway mark right now. They have the hill. Oh, well, keep going. <laughs> they had the hard point um, on the spoon right now, and they are getting a couple seconds on there, but it is contesting. They have lost it at the moment as Extraction go back in to try and get some more precious seconds on the board. The bigger the lead, the harder they'll be to come back. And at the moment, Extraction have a player on the hill right now. In fact, two players, as you see, Alter and coming out to pick out Shriek. It is getting better and better right now for Extraction. Absolutely is, Shawnee, and uh, let's switch on board to uh, uh, to Towel here, or to Pacify, who is in the hard point, keeping it on the lockdown. He's going to get a kill right there off on Polos. He is sitting at uh, a 12 and 10 right now. Altoon sitting at 18 and 9. That's a pretty good score right there. Zerium sitting at 6 and 10, though, with uh, two defense and zero, zero caps, but the hard point is about to switch over here in eight seconds. Score 136 to 24 in favor of Team Extraction. Finally making their way up as uh, they are probably going to close this one. I have a feeling they're going to close this one out here, but the hard point is in control right now of Team uh, uh, team Choke Point. That is going to be Shriekle right in there, uh, holding it down for his team. Gets a nice kill there off on Towel, getting shot at, finally taken off by Pacify, but Choke Point is going to have that under control. I mean, Shriekle with a nice jump to throw and kill. It was pretty nice, but at this current time, you can see all the little choke points are literally being held by extraction. There was no pun right there, I assure you. As we wait to see if the choke point can do anything, the score is getting bigger and bigger, and they need to try and get numbers in. As Alton picks up a free piece wow. in the middle of the club. Absolutely wow. terrific stuff. Well played to him as they look to clear uh, finish off this game right now. It is 250 to win, but at this current time, it's looking better and better right now for Extraction. Absolutely on board here with Alton. I want to dip into a listen in with the guys from Extraction, see what their communication is like, and see if that is actually playing a big part on their success in this map. With that being said, guys, we'll be right back. Hard point identified. Hostiles have the hard point. Smoke, smoke. He's one shot on my, one shot on my. I'm waiting here. 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 I'm wai
I'm in it, I'm in it. I'm watching 